Hey guys, thanks for sticking with us. We have more Good Day Kansas. Today's Wednesday, so we are featuring a Kansans Fueling Kansas segment where we are learning about ethanol made right here in Kansas. Well, we're talking about the supply chain and showing people involved. So today we're going to turn the table to the education side of it. So we are at Garden City High School. I am joined here with Garden City High School science teacher Chris Remick, also a Kansas Corn STEM lead teacher. So very excited to meet you today. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me here. Of course. So would you start by just sharing a little bit about what you do here at Garden City and with Kansas Corn STEM? Yeah, so um, I'm a science teacher here at Garden City High School. I teach uh, chemistry, usually to sophomores. I got zoology, and then I also have um, biotechnology, which is where actually Kansas corn really comes in and to play here. So as a uh, Kansas corn lead STEM teacher, what we really try to do is we're committed to helping teachers incorporate um, agriculture with topics such as ethanol uh, into the classroom. Um, and really providing free resources such as curriculum and um, lab supplies actually to teachers that are kindergarten through 12th grade actually. That's so important to make sure they have what they need, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's one thing, I mean we got great labs but uh, having that need for the equipment is where Kansas Corn really uh, shines as well. And they yeah. do a fantastic job of providing those resources. Where can they find them? Uh, they can find them at uh, the Kansas Corn website, so www.kscorn.com. Mm -hmm. And these are all, I'm sure, so helpful in regard to content, but tell me about how it would impact a teacher's budget. As teachers, we go through, we see these amazing labs, and you're just like, oh, I don't have this. Yeah. I don't have that. You know, like, uh, what would it take to get this and that? So what's nice about Kansas Corn is if you need something, it is there and available. They have many grants. Um, and then their, again, website is very easy sure. to navigate under that education tab and things. Yeah, yeah, of course. So tell me maybe about one of the labs that is ethanol-based or maybe even just an activity that's ethanol-based. Yeah, one of the big meat potato, meat and potatoes of the ethanol-based uh, labs is actually what's kind of right here behind me. Again, free resource and even um, the equipment is provided by Kansas Corn as well. So this is our distillation lab right here in which we are separating um, water from, or the ethanol from the water. And this is really just a mini scale version of what we see at the huge ethanol plants throughout the country here. Sure. Why do you think uh, teaching agriculture and things like ethanol and how, how this whole process, why do you think that's so imperative to students here in Kansas? What we wanna really have them do is recognize actually that um, this fuel source right here is Kansas grown, it's right in our backyard, right? Yeah, so if we can kind of create that connection between Kansas grown corn, right, becoming Kansas grown fuel, right there, um, that, that just uh, solidifies it. Yeah. So our really goal too is to hopefully inspire a few of our students to actually enter this profession. Um, and it's, again, it's right here at home. So powerful. And one more time where those are available. Yeah, www.kscorn.com. Uh, click on the education tab. There's all the free resources there. Easy to navigate website. It's actually pretty awesome. If you are interested in any more information about Kansas Made Ethanol, please visit fueledbykansas.com. Stick around, we have more Good Day Kansas after the break.